So it's one degree, feels like negative 14, and of course I would pick this fun day to run the rest of my errands. So I'm parked in front of FedEx. And we're gonna be printing off a label because I have to ship out some Poshmark items. Where is that? My Poshmark items. I do have a posh mark. Nobody goes on it, but I mean, when you do, you're complete strangers. So that's how I'm going to start off this Monday. Freezing. Now we're at the post office where my overpriced chauffeur back there is dropping off the package for me because I have to have a driver. I don't have my license and I don't own a car. I mean, why should I need one if I have a, a chauffeur? And he actually comes with the ball and chain and the regular old house that we live in. But, I mean, he's a chauffeur. He's a butler. He works hard. But, yeah, he's dropping off the Poshmark. So, made my life simpler sitting in the car on this frigid-ass day. <sighs> yep, here he comes. Hmm. You you don't want to meet him. He's not going to be here for long. He's already been here for 20 years and I'm looking to upgrade. Hi. I'm Rowena. No, I'm Rowena. All right, man of several words. Right. Getting out of the car to go shopping at Target. Our gloves got a Gatorade and back home I go oh, I'm in the cold so I can set you up I can't set you up there I need to get my seatbelt on oh my god okay oh, please okay, daddy yeah hi hi daddy you get scared of that word it's just funny mm -hmm. What I picked out from Target is some Gatorade, Cool Blue, uh, nail polish, and um, I believe it's, whoops, here we go, Vacation Time, Sinful Colors. This lighting in here is very yellow, I apologize, and I got this orange color. Where are we? Whoops. Proper prowls. And then let's skip to our desserts. 
for the next couple days is blueberry cheesecake, ice cream. You all can read that, I'm sure, and mini donut. And then for our dinner, we've got some chicken strips and some guacamole chips that we're gonna make together. Oh, and Scott picked this out because he thought it was just the most darlingest thing. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. through downtown St. Paul making our way to Rice Park because I have got a crush on you more dog poop the victory Vulcan torchlight parade for the winter carnival and I like to go almost every other year if the weather is nice and today it's actually above 25 or did it already drop drop it it dropped a little but you know it's still good enough weather you can actually leave the house and not freeze into an ice cold within three seconds. So I'll get back to you when we get there.
leaving the downtown area, Rice Park. I saw the Krampus and now I'm kind of just done. A little St. Paul Hotel. Should we go in? Okay, yeah, so we got Rice Park behind us hotel cut cars everywhere because that's what they're doing and now woo, it's fire it's the now, commercial. yes it is i'm gonna flip this around because this is awesome Robert Street and 10th Street and now we're gonna go to our car all right I'm gonna climb this snow bank no, I'm in. My tights. My tights are falling down. Are you cold? <laughs> so little. Is it good to at least have these ones? Yeah. Do you have your boots? Alright. My thermal on. My hat. My messy hair. You're still chilly. Lighting in my dressing room is horrible. I'm gonna turn you around. Hi, sweet pea Wilhelmina. Hi. You're so beautiful. You know you smell my hand. My hand is so cold. I love, I love. Boop, boop. You leave tomorrow morning. You leave tomorrow morning, sweetie. What? Come on. Come on. Hello, my girl. Hello. I love you. I love. Let's get dressed. Good morning. I'm going to come to you from Scott's kitchen with the dishes behind. I just washed those dishes. It is just after 7 in the morning. I've been up since 6 a.m. We are bringing the Calico Cat in this morning for her 8 a.m. appointment at the Woodbury Animal Humane Society. Um, she's lovable, she's adorable. You've seen the video that I've, I think I've inserted or maybe I will hear or hear it um, somewhere here. It's Sunday morning. Don't need to be up this early on a Sunday, but we are. Well, I've already washed up, dressed, makeup, just did a, hmm, whatever this is. I think that's all we're going to be doing is surrendering calico. I've got to finish, whoops, I've got to finish my coffee. Just a small one, small one today with the whip topping on it to cool it off. Uh, not much else is going to go on. Last night we were in downtown St. Paul at Rice Park for the Vulcan Victory Torchlight Parade. And as soon as I saw the Krampus, I was like, I'm done. I don't need to stay for the next half hour, actually. We made it home. We made it home and I was changing up in my closet into my pajamas. And I heard the fireworks finally go off. And I was like looking at the clock like, yeah, they're late. They're behind schedule. Because it was, I believe it was already eight. Couldn't stay. I was, I was cold. I was bored. I was literally bored being surrounded by that many people not wearing masks. We're still in a pandemic, people. 
it doesn't matter if it's three years later, we're still in a pandemic and we should still be wearing masks, washing our hands and not talking this close to each other, standing this close at a parade, but we all were. So hence my voice. It's been like that for about four or five days now, ever since, um, oh no, it's been like that since I went shopping at Walmart. Cause I had to pick up my prescriptions. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else we're gonna do today. I'll just, um, flip open my cell phone and film it, whatever it is, whatever it might be. And happy Sunday, I guess. Talk to you guys later. Good morning. Good morning. This is us trying to be cheery as pumpkin pie before 8 a.m. Slamming coffee. Coffee. Callie goes back here. She's being quiet for now. She might be pooing or peeing, but We'll get there. Stuck in a traffic light. Just after eight in the morning, we dropped off Wilhelmina, Sweet Pea, Calico Cat, and now it's time to get back to real life. Sad but true. Can I get out one hot cakes and sausage? Alright. And uh, two sausage McMuffins. Yes, please. And that'll be it. Thank you. Your box. It is a box. It's a McDonald's box. Cool. I think they did this because we thought that the Vikings were going to go into the Super Bowl and they didn't. Again. We, we can pretend. We can pretend though. Breakfast. 